Hey guys, so it's me and Kingston and we're here to do his five month update. Right, big boy? I can't believe he's five months old. Like, why is time flying so fast? Right, baby? Mommy just doesn't understand. But look at him. This boy is a chunk of wonka. Look at him. Stop looking in the mirror. He's looking in the mirror. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Kingston. Kingston, you're not going to say hi? You never want to say hi. He's so talkative off camera. And once I turn the camera on, he's like, it's as if he knows. But anyway, I digress. So Kingston um, went to the doctor maybe like two weeks ago. Um, and when he was, well, he was about four and a half months. And I had a feeling this boy had a growth spurt because I kept lifting him like, you just seem so much heavier over the span of like a week or so. Well, yes, he did. My man is 17 pounds, okay? Because he's strong, he's healthy. Like, I don't feel like I have to be so delicate with him because, yeah, this boy, he's he's a beast, right? Look at these big old hands. See, I'm a beast. Uh, what? Did he just stick his middle finger up? Oh, my gosh. Kingston, that was not nice. Anyway, so he's 17 pounds, 26 and a half inches long. So, um, yeah, he's measuring on the big side for weight and for length. But, you know, that's a good thing, right, Booby? Yes, because he doesn't miss a meal, can't you tell? Look at these arms, look at this. Solid, solid, solid as a rock. Ah, do, 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 do. So Kingston has rolled over um, up just a couple times. I feel like he's a little bit lazy, <laughs> but that's all right. You know, every, he will do things in his own time, but he has rolled over from stomach to back a couple of times we'll put him on his play mat and we'll um he, he just doesn't really like being on his stomach a lot so he'll just roll over to his back you know um so that's good we got all excited i'll show you a video clip because we were like besides ourselves excited when he did this like you would have thought like he just got nominated for president or something because we were just like going crazy and he was looking at us like y'all all right all i did was roll so that's that as far as feeding, he is on no more breast milk. Wah, wah. Um, yeah, the breast milk ran out. So he's on formula. I'm actually giving him Gerber Good Start Gentle Formula. And he's handling it pretty well. Um, what are you reaching for your toy, baby? He's handling it pretty well. He only spits up like a little bit, not a lot. He does have a lot of gas, though. And I thought this one is supposed to be for to prevent gassiness. But I don't know if my baby is just a gassy baby, but he gets a lot of gas. Like, he really does. And it sounds like, a, it, it sounds and smells like a grown man. I'm like, is that you or is that daddy? Who just did that? You know? But anyway, so he's on that. And he's also, we started solids. Um, I know a lot of people are like, wait till six months. But after talking to our doctor at about four months or so, our doctor was like, you know, it's your choice. You can start with cereal, which I gave him cereal maybe twice, but then I decided I didn't want to give him cereal. So when he was about four and a half months, um, we made the decision that we were going to start him on solids because he just wasn't getting satisfied with the formula alone. When we were eating, he started salivating and reaching for our food. And we knew like, this is a big boy. He's ready to eat something. So we have the baby bullet system, which we absolutely love. And I decided to make my own baby food. So the first thing we introduced him to was sweet potatoes. And the boy tore it up. He was like, oh, where has this been all my life? You've been giving me milk. I need food. So he tore it up. He loved it. We didn't have any problems with it. Um, and we had him have the sweet potatoes for a week, you know, just to make sure he didn't have like an allergic reaction or anything like that to the sweet potatoes. So he loved it, tore it up. So the next thing we decided to give him was peas. And he was like, how you gonna give me these delicious, sweet, sweet potatoes and they wanna give me these peas? Ugh, what is this? Like, he really didn't like it. The first couple times we gave it to him, well, the first couple spoonfuls, he was like, okay, I can dig this. Then after a while, he must have realized like, that's not sweet potatoes. This is not sweet, you know? And it was like, Mwah. But guess what? My baby is so greedy and loves food so much, like his mama. He continued to eat it and ate every last drop. He suffered through it, but he ate it. And we gave him peas for about five days. Um, so today we're going to start something new, um, which I think we're probably either going to do bananas or carrots. I'm not sure which one yet. So we'll see. Right, babe? <sighs> my poor baby is suffering with eczema. Oh, my gosh. Like, 
it is out of control. I feel so bad for him. And I try to do everything I can to help alleviate the, the itching and discomfort for him. But he really has it bad. What I've been doing, I've been giving him a vino milk, well, a vino, well, a vino eczema therapy baths, as well as, I think it's called Mustela milky oil baths. So I like do those two things to try to soothe him. I give him a bath every other day. Um, I slather him up with Aquaphor as soon as he gets out of the bath when his skin is still a little bit damp to try to lock in the moisture. Um, I use coconut oil on him. Sometimes, only sometimes, I'll use cortisone on him, hydrocortisone, like if it's really, really red to help with inflammation. But I try not to use that often because I heard that cortisone can really thin out the skin and it can also like bleach the skin and lighten the skin and... Yeah, we trying to, we're not trying to bleach his skin, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I've been doing that. And um, he's itchy, he scratches a lot. But when I do all that, it soothes him for a little while. So it's temporary relief. So, you know, we just trying. But also, I think he has a fixation of scratching. Like, I think it soothes him sometimes. Beyond the eczema, when he's sleepy and he wants to go to sleep, like he'll scratch the sides of his head. And I think it's just a comfort thing. Um, because he really only does it like when he's sleepy and he wants to take a nap and he's fighting it or, you know, look at him sucking his fingers. Excuse me. <laughs> he's looking out the window. Um, so yeah, so he's been doing that, but, you know, I'm not worrying about it too much. I still slather his head with coconut oil. His hair is starting to grow a little bit, still sparse. <laughs> But that's all right, you know. Like I showed you before, his hands are so big. Oh my gosh. And he is, this boy is a beast. He is so heavy handed. Sometimes, I know you're going to be like, why are you doing this? When he sleeps in bed with us, which he does sometimes. Not that often, but he does sometimes. Um, he will smack me in the face in his sleep. And I'm just like, I'm going to wake up with a black eye one day. Like, really? Like, why are you trying to knock me out? Why are you so vicious? You are so heavy handed. It is just like, boom. And it's like... He'll wake your body asleep. You're like, what the? And then he'll like grab you and like dig his hand and want to like, he tries to grab it like my eyelashes and my eyebrows. I'm like, he's noticing everything around him, which is wonderful. But uh, sometimes, you know, I get the brunt of it or my husband gets the brunt of it. He grabs my husband's glasses off his face and just like, give me that. That's mine. And throws everything in his mouth because he's still, he's teething. He hasn't broken a tooth yet, but he is teething. The drool and the... You see he's sucking on his hands and anything you give him goes straight to the mouth. Yes. He is trying to sit up on his own and like pull himself up. As you can see, like, uh, ah, and then we fall over. Then he's looking out the window. Um, he is trying to pull himself up a little bit, but, um, you know, in his own time, he's starting to bear some weight on his legs. I don't know if he'll do it on camera. Can I do it? He is just staring out the window, probably because it snowed, we had a big blizzard, and he's probably looking at the snow, he's never seen that before, you know? Oh, he's wearing size nine month clothes because, like I said, my baby's a beast, you know? So yeah, and um, I think I mentioned before that he was going to get dedicated at church, so he got dedicated at church, and it was amazing, it was awesome. Um, a lot of our family and friends came, and we had a really, really good time. Um, they came back to our house. We had a little get together at our house and it was just really awesome to publicly just like dedicate him to the Lord and profess that we will raise him in a Christian home and teach him about the Lord. So it was really, really, really nice. So I'll put a couple pictures for that. And what else? Oh yeah. Since mommy's big boy is such a big boy, we had to upgrade and move him on from the infant car seat to the big boy car seat because homeboy's legs were hanging over the car seat. He was in there all mushed up like that and... We just couldn't have him like that anymore. So, yeah, but that's about it. Um, let me see. I don't think there's anything else new. Me, mm, my hair's still shedding, but mm, what, are, what are you going to do? It's still mad long, if you can see it. It's a lot thinner than it was when I was pregnant and before I was pregnant, but hopefully it'll start thickening back up when this shedding comes to an end. When is that going to end? Because... It's driving me crazy, but that's about it. So I'll put some video clips, of course, and some pictures at the end. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else to report. Do you? No? He is staring out the window. Actually, it's the skylight that he's staring out because the snow has accumulated on top of it. So he's probably looking at that like, this is the greatest thing ever, right? Say, see you later. Say, see you later, Kingston. Say, bye. You trying to grab my phone? You're not going to speak?
What is it? P.U. P.U. Stink a stink. P.U. Stink a stink. Stink a stink stink. Stink a stink stink. Say hi. Hi, honey pie. Say hi. Say hi. You're not interested. Say hi. Go ahead, man. Do it. Call him. Hey, Mommy. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. Over here. Come on, dude. You do Come on, dude. Hey. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Get the food. You want your sweet potatoes? Yeah, Yay. man. Yummy. You like it? Oh, yes, you like you it. You like it? Potatoes. Yummy, yum. Say, ah, good boy. You gonna help mommy put it in your mouth? Good boy. You like your sweet potatoes? You want some more? You have to open up. There you go, bud. <laughs> Say, mmm. Mm. Nummy num. My first time eating big boy food. You want some more? Okay. <laughs> you gonna help mom Good put it in boy. your mouth? There you go. Good boy, Kingston. More, more, more. Good boy. I, I know, I know. <laughs> Excited. Mm. <laughs>